Hello friends, today we build a cross-cut sled. Let's get started. For materials today, I'm recycling a plywood door, some cedar, and some pine 2x4s. I begin by removing the handles from the plywood door, and then I go to the planer to make sure that both faces of the 2x4s are flat. Once I know they are, I take it to the table saw, and I square up all four sides. Using some scrap maple hardwood that fit perfectly in my runners, I applied some super glue and then I set the board directly on top. The super glue held it in place just long enough for me to pick it up, turn it upside down, and attach the runners using screws. Once the runners are on, it was time to attach the backboard. I did this using one screw, which served as a pivot point that we can use to adjust the backboard to be square perfectly with the blade. Once you make this initial cut, squaring up the blade isn't that hard. All you have to do is raise it up as high as you can and put a square to the blade, and then make sure that you're pivoting the backboard so it's perfectly aligned with your square. Once everything looks like it should, you can go ahead and clamp down the backboard, turn it upside down, and then drill more holes in, because you know it's not going to move now that you have everything perfect. Remember to countersink your screws so that you don't scratch the top of your table saw. If you enjoy videos like this, click on the Patreon link above. I really appreciate your support. Thanks! Offstage, I added a stabilizing block to the front, and then I made a 2-inch high cut all the way across the board. It was sticking a little bit, so I applied some wax, and once I did, it worked perfectly. Now let's see how square it is. As a fun creative feature, I thought I would add some sliding pegs. Oftentimes I find myself doing repetitive cuts and I have to clamp a board so that I can make the cuts the same every single time. This way I have these built in and they're really stable. Take a look. And there you have it! This is the first in a series of sorts. I'm going to be developing a playlist of jigs and sleds that I build here with reused materials and just some creative ideas from Pinterest and other YouTubers. So, if you have anything that you'd like to see me make, be sure to let me know in the comments section below and tell me what kind of sled or jig you used most frequently. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm the Midwest Man Mountain. Thank you for subscribing, and until next time, bye!